Hi, welcome to the Tomorrow Bio YouTube channel. With this video, we're starting a new series called Meet the Team. We'll go around the office, meet the team, and see what we do on a day to day basis here in our Berlin office. So, what do I do here? Once again, I'm Rishi. I'm a medical researcher here at Tomorrow Bio, and I mainly focus on cryopersection, cryopreservation procedure, as well as standby. A big part of my research is obviously uh, the cryopreservation procedure, uh, not only focusing on the surgical part, but also introducing new techniques and procedures which would streamline the procedure without hindering the quality of cryoprotection. So what I just put in there is uh, one of our bags of cryoprotectant. Obviously cryoprotectant is the most important part of the whole cryopreservation procedure. And we make it uh, here in office in Berlin. And the most important contents of it, obviously mo like most people know, it's things which would uh, help prevent ice formation during the cool down process. And we perfuse it during the surgical part of uh, cryoprotection. A common line of question when it comes to cryonics is always, what about revival? Every time we speak about revival, it's always assumptions and speculations. It wasn't my reason for why I signed up for cryopreservation. My main motivation behind signing up for cryopreservation was to be part of a long-term research project, at the same time push the envelope when it comes to scientific research, mainly in this field. And who knows what would come out of this long-term research, right? It could have other applications, for example, space travel. Another important part of my day-to-day -day duties here at Tomorrow is obviously the ambulance, uh, which is always parked here in front of our Berlin office because it's one of the locations where we dispatch from. It's also a meeting point which we use in case of emergency cases, as well as when we decide we want to go on standby for a few days to a week. As you can see, the ambulance looks like just any other regular ambulance from the outside, but from the inside, it's completely retrofitted and custom fit purely for cryopreservation and mainly field cryopreservation. Everything which is inside, which including the ice bath, the freezers, the coolers are not there in a normal ambulance, but whatever we put in was carefully and thoughtfully put in so that we can do field cryopreservation. Doesn't matter where the location is, we take the ambulance and we can do it on the spot. As previously mentioned, this is obviously a custom fit ambulance. Uh, you can see the perfusion system over here, which looks like a traditional cardiothoracic perfusion system. Only difference is we only need one pump instead of four, which they use. And we double down on bubble traps because we want to be extra, extra careful when it comes to perfusion. We also have all our surgical equipments ready to go. Uh, all of them are always sterilized and kept ready just in case we have to rush for a case so that we can meet up here in our Berlin office because this is one of our uh, meetup points and then we directly leave to wherever the case is. I first came across cryopreservation and cryonics when I was around 14 years old and I immediately knew I would also want to be cryopreserved when I am uh, legally pronounced dead. And I just left it at the back of my mind to take it that seriously or actively pursue siding up. But then I came across tomorrow uh, I was moved to Germany and here there's a company based in Berlin, Germany, focusing on cryopreservation all across Europe. Tomorrow gives me a great mix of biotechnology, at the same time also gives me a chance to use my surgical skills because as you may know, you need to do medium sternotomy, so traditional cardiothoracic surgery to access the heart, the large vessels because you would want to perfuse the cryoprotective agent during the cryoprotection procedure. So this is another cool piece of equipment I get to work with. This is actually a mobile perfusion system. And we use the system on cases where we wouldn't take the ambulance for in situations where we want to have a fast car or one of our fast response vehicles go ahead in front of the ambulance. And if the ambulance is still too slow, we can obviously start the whole car protection procedure just with this perfusion system. It's just like the one in the ambulance, fitted with every single part as in the ambulance, only just in a compact form. So you have the blood reservoir here where the car protection would go all the filters, including even the bubble traps, which make sure that there are no bubbles coming out uh, when we cannulate the large vessels to perfuse the cryoprotectant. 
Something interesting we do here uh, tomorrow is trying to introduce already existing medical and surgical technology and procedures into the field of cryonics and cryopreservation. And we do this by trying them out uh, initially in practice sessions and trainings, sometimes using hard models or even during cadaver trainings. Unfortunately, I can't talk about them yet because they're still in their R&D phases. And once they're ready to go, obviously everybody's gonna know about it. We are very open about our techniques and procedure. And maybe you'll even see it in one of our blogs on our website. And if not, we'll at least produce a video about it. So we were thinking of scenarios where, let's say we are running late or for some unforeseen reason, we are not able to reach right on time. And that's where this idea came from, where we do not want to reduce the quality of the crowd protection. And the most important thing is acting right on time. And this is a cryopreservation first aid kit with some of the important items or some of the easier items which anybody who don't even have uh, any sort of medical training can pick up, learn how to use, and maybe even just read the manual and start using. So in here we have, for example, a body bag, which is a waterproof body bag, so you can place the patient in there with some ice and water to start external cooling. Uh, it also has uh, enough things to start oxygenation with, without any intubation, as well as a complete LUCA set so that you can put that on, start chest dumping, and provide cardiopulmonary support. It also comes with uh, a bone marrow needle and some of the medication and indication how to use them, but obviously for that you need some sort of medical background, and hopefully if there, was, if there is a medical doctor or a nurse or some sort of medical practitioner uh, around when the case is happening, they can take this and use it and somehow help uh, us in doing the case as well. When it comes to my motivation for signing up for car preservation, initially it was just pure curiosity. I was always interested in medical and scientific research and biotechnology, sci-fi and everything in that realm, so it just made perfect sense. And all of the forms of traditional funerals, such as burial or cremation, just never made any sense to me. And of course, I just love life and love being alive. So that was also a great driving force when it comes to why I signed up for cryopreservation. If whatever I spoke about today piqued your interest, then book a call with us and we can have a detailed conversation about cryonics and cryopreservation, as well as answer all your questions regarding this topic. Thank you and see you next time.